Hi again. Thank you for your company again. Um, yeah, bless you. Um, 1 John chapter 2, we've kind of glossed over or, or looked at over both uh, verses 12 uh, and 13 and how those verses are repeated in verse 14. So let's jump on to uh, 1 John 2 and verse 15. John says this, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, comes not from the Father but from the Word. The world and its desires pass away. But whoever does the will of God lives forever. I find this a difficult verse, I confess to you, because there are aspects of life in this world that I love. I love very much. I love um, the, the majesty of creation. I love family relationships. I love friendships that we have. Uh, I love the opportunities we have to spend time with other people, to sit in the sun that is now blinding me. I love all of that. Um, but John is saying here, the word of God is saying here, that we're not to love the world. For if anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. What he's getting at is something rather deeper than what I've just described. It's a kind of either-or situation. If our love for the world is such that we want to live entirely and completely in the way that the world promotes, then we are ignoring the Father. But instead, we're to love the Father first and foremost and absolutely. And out of the love for the Father, well, some appreciation, some love, some gratitude for that that he's created will freely come as well. The world, the term the world, is often used in the New Testament as um, that which is not the Father. So the world, the created rather than the creator. The, the um, uh, what's the word? The, the world rather than the spiritual, the spiritual realms. And what we're uh, to do is to understand that the world, that that is made by God, is not what we're to worship and not what we're to appreciate. And the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, the lust of the flesh. We're not to find our or seek our satisfaction and our joy in that, in the things that we can look at and the things that we can ogle. But we are instead to find our satisfaction, our fulfillment, our joy in the Father who created the world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. I want to be in that number, to coin a phrase. I want to be among those who, um, uh, will, who will live forever because we do the will of God. It's not to say that we can't value and appreciate other people and uh, the situation around us, but we're not to um, throw our lot in to, to loving them or that. We are to, to seek to do the will of God. Uh, we seek to live, to make God our Father and the number one in our lives. Uh, I pray that we can all do that. Let me pray now. Father, uh, help us please to, to keep you as number one, to make sure that the main thing is the main thing, that you are our Father, you are our God, and we don't lust after other things or other other loves, other idols, but we, we are all out committed to following you. Help us, Lord, to do that, I pray. Amen. Bless you. Thank you uh, very much for listening. Take care.